Hello and welcome. Today's video is going to be about programming the Edmega 32U2 chip on the original APM252 version 5. A user named Max asked me the pinouts for this uh, APM and it's and I believe it's not public so I thought I would just trace it out and show you guys how to do it as well. Alright so the first connection you're going to want to make is right beside this resistor here. You can alternatively try tracing it out a little bit better than I did, but what I can see is it just uh, gets screwed up with this uh, resistor here. So I found the best place is here. On the version 2, I believe it's here or here for it, but I'd have to trace that out, so just hit me up on the comments. So anyways, solder one wire here, and this will put the Omega into reset. So you'll just want to attach the wire here, and that goes to ground. And that's for that part of the board. On the other board, all right, so on this board here, you're gonna wanna add a wire here, and this will put the board into DFU once you also take this one to ground. So I think they screwed up when they made this board because this capacitor here should probably just be a resistor. If you uh, trace it out, I believe it goes here, down this way here, and then here, this capacitor screws it up because if you follow this guy here like this, it actually goes to the reset of the ISP. So in theory, you could just put a solder blob, get rid of this capacitor, put a solder blob here, and whenever you want to put your Edmega32 into DFU, just simply put a jumper across these two pins here. So that's another option. However, you're probably not going to have to do this too often, so it might be just easier just putting a piece of wire here and then just attaching it to ground somewhere permanently. The other reset wire is just, you're just going to touch it just to put it into DFU. Alright, so download my firmware package and uh, you have a choice. I'll also include the links for it to Atmel as well. This is just in case one day for some reason it goes down or whatever, at least the files will be all together. So in the package I include one with Java and one without Java. Probably just try the one with the Java. So just double click on this guy and install it. Well here it says I already have it so I'm just going to skip this part of it. But it's pretty straightforward. There's one question in it where it asks you what um, plugins do you want to install for Firefox or Internet Explorer or Chrome or something like that. Just uncheck both of them because you really don't need it. So after that's uh, done, it'll create a desktop icon. Right, so after that's installed, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to solder it. So open up your APM just by pulling it apart like this. As my, all my other videos, I suggest taking a marker and just marking on both sides here. It's hard to see, but here I did red and red and black and black. This way you just know which way the board goes back on after you crack it open. So just carefully separate the two boards. This is board here we're after. And again, the places we're after on this guy is right by that resistor right there. So we're going to want to put it solder right there. Just be really careful when you do it. And uh, yeah. So what you'll want to do is find two cables like this or even one. The um, On your APM you have a cable that goes to I believe number five or number minus one or something like that. You can just take one of them out because they're not all needed and just cut the cable in half and you'll have these two. I'm showing you this way. In theory, all you really have to do is ground both of the solder joints I'm showing. So you really don't need this. One is only a temp ground. And the reason why I'm keeping this is just in case you short it out. When I did the test myself, I didn't have a black connector on the end. I just touched the ground. You can even touch it right onto the uh, USB if you wanted to. But I'm just going to show you the safe way. So I just carefully solder it to this resistor here. Just 
good. So this guy here is gonna be your temp wire. And after you're done with that wire, you can put the board back together again. You might wanna put some hot glue there so it doesn't rip off by accident and short out on something. All right, so I did trace it out and it goes to the capacitor right here. I don't know if you can see that, if it's out of focus. Hope not, I'll just move back a bit more maybe. So yeah, it goes right above that capacitor. That camera's not going right, right there. So I think they screwed up. I don't think this was really meant to be a capacitor. You could actually just put a solder. You can take this capacitor out and uh, just put a solder blob there or a zero ohm resistor because if you follow the trace it actually goes to the isp reset pin and ground so if you end up uh, doing this lots for some odd reason you could just put a solder blob there and then uh, put the header on here for this for the isp and you could just use a jumper or whatever and just leave it on like that all the time just when you're programming it and stuff but i'm going to show you the way if uh, you don't want to remove it just in case I'm wrong about it. So again, just solder on a wire. Actually, I'll put this side on first. So with the APM this way, with the reset, reset button there, the top row is your ground. And just plug it in. Again, you can find ground anywhere. I'm just showing you a convenient place. That goes like that. Then just carefully solder this on top of that capacitor. It's hard to do this without a magnifying glass. shaky today guess I wasn't destined to be a surgeon okay so it's on there so that's good so this one can stay in, stay like this until it's completed so now I'm gonna jump back into the software part of it all right so open up kind of device manager and uh, just have it handy like this while you plug in the APM because I'll show you why so plug in the USB cable into your APM Right, so then go to uh, your ports. Just make sure it got, got detected like that. So now what you're gonna wanna do with this wire here. So again, if you don't have the cable, you can probably just touch it right at the USB thing. But just for safety for now, just in case you accidentally plug in the five volts. Again, on this top row, it's just ground. So just what you're gonna wanna do is plug it there for a second. You'll notice that happens and then unplug it. Now what should happen is right at the top, you should get Atmel USB device. So once that's like that, I can keep that steady. Now you can go to flip and open that up. Once that's open up, click on this guy here. Find the Admega 32U2 U2 chip. This only this version has this chip in it and say, okay. Then you can click on this guy here and click on USB, say open, and it got detected. Next, click on this guy here. Ah, where's all my icons? So I included the S bus PPM, don't use that one. It was, I think, Max after that one, but I'm sure he already got it or maybe even a better version. 
So in this case here, the updated uh, PPM encoder or whatever is here. So just double click on this guy. It's good. And then just make sure this is all checked. Then click run. And it's done. After that's done, just unplug everything, unsolder everything. Right guys, so that was pretty quick and uh, simple. If you have any more comments or whatever, just hit me up on YouTube. And uh, like, like and subscribe, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. All right, I'll just add a quick thing about the uh, APM 2.8 and 2.6 so I don't have to make a separate video. It's uh, for the software thing, it's all the same process and same with putting it into DFU. So the headers here, if you actually have the jumpers here, you want to take that small jumper that came with it and put it on the two pins that belong right there. If not, you're going to have to solder a wire from here to here and just leave it for the entire for the entire process and then uh, here is the ISP for the Omega 32 but most likely you won't have this either you'll just have two pads at the bottom so where these two pins are you're gonna want to put a solder just one wire on the reset pin here and then uh, follow the same steps plug in the APM and then short that one against here or uh, do as the wiki says just find something like scissors or something and just short those two pads out it's just long enough to put it into dfu